Hey guys, this is Overlord Creators here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you actually how to use the Group Managers folder. Um, it does require a lot of, you know, thinking and capability, and some coding too, which you have to know when it comes to plugins. Um, just overall, in your Groups Manager here, uh, you don't need to really worry about any of these kind of folders. Your main thing is your worlds and the groups folder here it should be brought up like this I don't use wordpad because it doesn't really help me much I use notepad plus uh, nope but all right yeah I use notepad plus just because it is a lot easier to use um, as far as this goes there are some main things you want to really look at when it comes to this folder um, everything does start with groups it is a big issue and people don't realize it but um groups you have to start with this and then with default default is going to be whatever your I guess default group is going to be so mine is just default I didn't really want to name it anything else but your main things you're going to want, want to look at is the default itself which is either true or false default means if they are permitted to build it's giving them permissions your second one is going to be your permissions which is whatever plugins that you're going to be running into your server here um, your inheritance depending on what your inheritance may be um, it will pass down from group to group to group so if your inheritance is for example defaults not going to have any because it's going to be the original group it's going to be the first group that you're going to have your second I have builders so my builders here um, my builder it's inheritance it doesn't show but this is like my next group up this is what allows them to build because technically my default group does not have any I guess any commands they could use um, when it comes to the builder being upgraded, I do have mod world builder. Um, so I guess my mod is what runs off of builder, which builder should be here. But these brackets mean that, I guess another way to put it is they, they can inherit off of whatever was, you know, before it. But let's just start for example I am going to open notepad plus it is not smart to open it up with you know I guess um, I'm having so many issues right now thinking about it but um you can't open this up with another un I guess another file folder blah 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 whatever you want to say I'm not gonna save any of this just because there's a reason why I don't want to um alright so this is what your main your main setup is gonna main setup is what's gonna what it's gonna look like so without further ado I'm gonna do this um they do have to be spaced like this just so you know like and there is a link that I could show you guys what how to you know start your own I guess groups manager file but um they do have to be separated like this so this here I'm just gonna switch this to builder alright and this here is gonna be false mind you the reason why I write it like this default for true builder for false you can set it up so when people join they already have the automatic rights to build if you want to set it up this way it is a little bit of an issue because then you have to make sure people manu add others and that's where your admins would come into play your mods or GM's or whatever you wanna say but here I'm gonna throw in a couple plugins here um your builders, I guess, essentials dot home essentials dot spawn 
essentials dot set home so like these are just some things that you could use for your builder I don't want to get in depth with what you guys can use um, when you have plugins you want to look up nodes the nodes are really important for when it comes to setting permissions you can also set permissions for people to do essentials dot star which if you want to use the star at the end of everything um, I wouldn't really suggest using it until you you get up to your mods or your admins or your GM's or whatever you want to use because the star indicates that they are allowed to use every single command in that plugin um, really I wouldn't suggest it I would actually type them in all manually so when they get to type in slash help um, they can see what commands they can use because if you do type in essentials dot star and they type in slash help it's gonna give them a big list of commands and it's really unorganized and it's not I guess too likely for people to use it um, but apart from this yeah this is a standard I guess easy way to do it you can always op yourself you don't need to really make yourself an owner or anything like that but you can op yourself so you know that you'll have just builders and that's it and then you're just op um but with this yeah you gotta look up your nodes because your nodes is what's important for whether you're using essentials I'm using good question I got a bunch of plugins autosave, battlenet, catacombs, chest, core protect um, my essentials, my economy, LWC, money, etc, etc, etc. Everything that I use, I have it dignified into each and every group. So my world guard is my admins, my world edit is my admins. Time is money, everybody can use it, so it is, um, it is my time is money dot star node. Um, another thing that you gotta get pointed out to is the fact that um, each group can have like different colors so there is online if you want to go check there is a prefix color it goes from 1 to 6 I believe or 1 to 6 and then A to F it gives you different colors you can use as prefixes suffixes um, I'm not really gonna get much in depth with this but when you get into game I'm gonna close this here nope I don't want to do that so when I get in the game here I'm going to show you guys that see how I'd have different colors when I type I'm gonna have a lot of errors because I haven't updated since 1.3.5 so um, when you come to check this out it's gonna be a little laggy I know it's gonna be in the video because I've had this issue before um each each one you're gonna have a different color for your name so I have that oh, I got my cord in my way get out of my way and I just close my game down screw you keyboard oh my goodness come on all right so anyways um this stupid french keyboard okay man you add less paul lore mod mod when i type my name's green so on and so on this is how it all works out everybody will well I kind of have myself opt as an owner so when I don't have myself opt as an owner everybody if you type in slash help it'll give you a list of commands as being a builder without further I guess ado the one thing I did want to point out is let me close this here when I open this not back up world world groups nope um, okay here what happens is I don't necessarily get to write all this stuff in here over and over and over again because when I write an inheritance 
for example, from this here world builder has the inher inheritance of a mod. So whatever the mod has placed in his here. So I got essentials, vanish chest, vanish toggle, world edit. So to me, I don't have to put this stuff in here. In other words, I'm just wasting my time putting this stuff in because they're going to have the inheritance of what the other group is going to have. So from world builder, he's going to have the inheritance of everybody else. So builder, world builder, GM, mod, default. So he's got his own commands as in the groups manager, menu add, whatever, blah, blah, blah. He's going to have his own vanish command. He's going to have all bucket. So he's going to have all the commands regardless. So of me putting this in here. But you have to watch it though. When you decide to add in the same. Like you're not going to realize. If you add in essentials dot star. And then you decide to add in essentials dot spawn. You're going to start getting a bunch of errors in your command prompt. Because it is trying to load the same thing. And it can't recognize both at the same time. But it's a basic setup of how. You should, I guess, build your own groups manager for a file. It is hard. I gotta give you that. If there is any questions whatsoever, feel free to message me. And I could try my hardest to help you guys out with this. But um, this is Overlord Kratos here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I did help you guys quite a bit. But um, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I shall talk to you guys later. See you guys later. Peace out.